TIFU by having a seizure and going full MMA on the six cops trying to help get me in the ambulance. Checking my email is the last normal thing I remember before waking up in the hospital, except for a few scary as fuck bits here and there. Hence, this comes from my own direct recollection, with the gaps filled in by my wife and other witnesses. I had a full tonic clonic seizure, right at my desk. Details are mostly irrelevant, here, but I've never had a seizure before. And initial assessment is that it was probably a perfect storm situation with a new prescription I was on that will, hopefully, never happen again. My wife was in the next room and of course called 911, and the ambulance showed up. Problem is, I was post which is a post-seizure state where you're essentially not in your right mind. But when two big dudes came into my house unannounced and in a big hurry to move towards me, I went into home defense mode. The fact that they were clearly in EMT uniforms and there to help me was lost in the scrambled mess my brain was in, but my more basic instincts were working fine. I don't think I actually assaulted the EMTs, as they just kept their distance and radioed for police backup when I started yelling at them telling them, apparently, get the fuck out of my house. I don't want to fight you. And so the police sent one guy. Now I remember feeling extremely protective of my wife and convinced that this home invasion was serious business now that this third guy was coming towards me and attempting to physically restrain me. I don't remember, but I'd bet you dollars to donuts that the millisecond he rolled his shoulders forward and widened his stance is the second that I went from uncooperative to full ape shit. It's just what you do when you're trained to fight and there doesn't seem to be another option, as when you were protecting your family like I thought I was about to have to do. That's when things started getting ugly. I was an amateur MMA fighter about 15 years ago with a local dojo, and while I haven't practiced for a long time, I can tell you those instincts never fully leave you. I know how to reverse any submission hold a local cop is likely to be able to proficiently attempt on me apparently even whilst post-tictal. Before backup arrived, I had swept the leg of the officer and had him in an armbar. Thank fuck I didn't go for a blood choke whilst my brain was short-circuiting. I was also screaming, roaring, apparently, at my wife to call the police. The irony of my request was lost on me at the time. That primal roar was the scariest sound she's ever heard come out of my body, so she tells me, and I didn't stop roaring. Luckily, for him and me, cop number one didn't put up any further resistance until his backup arrived. Five more big dudes showed up, now six cops plus two EMTs plus my wife. No weapons drawn, no tasers. Fortunately they knew they were walking into a medical call, and boy they should get a medal for how well they handled it. I wasn't going down without a fight and 1v1 was no contest even though they were way above my weight class. But with sheer overwhelming force they pretty much wore me out and then dogpiled me to the ground, cuffed me in the back, and then stood me up to walk me to the ambulance. Big mistake. I easily spun my way out of the officer's control grip, hand on handcuff chain, other hand on my shoulder, and gave him a front kick to the breadbasket he probably won't forget anytime soon. Bring it. Fuckers, I remember thinking, or saying? Who knows. I also remember being this weird mix of scared, emboldened by my recent escape, and pissed right the fuck off, all at the same time. Still cuffed. Front kicks were the new order of the day. I was like the goddamn free sample guy at the supermarket, giving them out to anyone who came near me. Details are loose on what happened next but I guess they did some kind of brute force team tackle again and got me to the ground, and from the cuts on my wrists, they may have used some kind of pain compliance technique with the cuffs. It didn't work, as I was able to shrimp my way out from underneath the guys on top of me and throw a nasty double heel kick from lying down. Fortunately it just grazed the guy on the shoulder rather than the neck, head, which is where I would certainly have been naming. Next thing I remember vividly is being face down on my living room carpet barely able to breathe, thanks to being out of shape these days, with at least one big guy on my back, and thinking this was the end for me, then they'd rape my wife, and let my cat out in the cold winter night. They weren't screwing around at this point. 
apparently judging it worth the risk. While I was pinned the EMT shot me in the ass with some kind of chemical restraint, and the cops just sort of sat on me and let my wife try to calm me down until it had taken full effect and I was strapped to the gurney in soft restraints. When I woke up, over a full day later combination of insomnia plus seizure plus downers plus 1v6 cage match really wore me out, I guess, I was bruised to shit. But aside from some minor cuts on my wrists from the cuffs and a nasty hole in my bottom lip from me biting it during the seizure, I'm a lot better off than I could have been. I have some nasty pins and needles in my hands so those cuffs must have been torqued fairly hard, by me or the cops, who knows, but I'm told by my attending doctor that should go away in about 6 months. When got home I called the police to apologize and thank them for getting my combative ass to the ambulance. Thanks to them for being incredibly good sports about the whole thing. And not pressing charges, especially given my level of dot 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 enthusiasm. I'm still trying to wrap my head around just how badly this could have gone. Yes. The unpredictable seizure alone is bad enough without nearly suiciding by cop had there been a weapon within reach. Scares the bejesus out of me just knowing how absolutely out of control I was. TL, DR. I learned exactly how many big dudes with at least basic hand-to-hand training it takes to drag me from my home against my will. 6, plus a syringe of something in the ass. Edit, well, this was a much bigger response than I expected. Thanks for all of your comments, especially those from police and medical professionals and other patients that have gone through something similar. And, wow, thanks for the gold, kind strangers common question was where this happened, as a few of you figured out, stalkers. LOL, yes, I'm in Canada, and yes it was bloody cold out at the time, even by Canadian standards, 